Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, BOK Prime should just go ahead and do, uh, they should go ahead and just do uh, Terrence Crawford versus Adrian Broner. They should go ahead and do T. Crawford versus Adrian Broner, in my opinion. They can't find Adrian Broner opponent or whatever. Um, they should go ahead and do Terrence Crawford versus Adrian Broner. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, Terrence Crawford seeming to have problems finding an opponent. Uh, Alexis Roach is going to be his next mandatory, but I heard he suffered a cut uh, in his last fight. That's what Ness was saying. Um, so I think that uh, they should just go ahead and do Terrence Crawford and Adrian Broner. That might make the most sense, you know, for all parties involved, you know. So, um, you know, and that's a big fight for BLK Prime to boost their subscribers up. You could pay, ten, you know, with that with that fight to do if they build it right, you could pay Adrian Broner his full year salary in one fight for that fight. That's how big that fight is. That's a big fight. So you could pay his full, you know, you could you could pay his full salary in that fight. You could pay his full salary in that fight, and you know, and you could and you could do it that way. So, um, I think I think that'll make that'll make the most uh, that'll make the most sense sense for him, and and for for the company known as BOK Prime, is to uh, to to make that mega fight. You know, and then, you know, Regis Progress, if Crawford kills, you know, still want to compete at 47, then you can offer Regis Progress to Crawford. So, to me, that, that make that make a lot of sense. That makes a tremendous amount of sense. So, um, and, I, and I think that's what, that's what they honestly, that's what they honestly should do. That's what they honestly should do. And I think that, uh, you know, it's a big event for them. You need something that's really going to kick it off. And you need something that's financially fruitful and that's marketable. Now, the tough part is getting Adrian Broner to get in the ring with, uh, with Bud. That's the tough part. That's the tough part. But if you pay him all, you know, you pay him good to get in there, he ain't got no other choice. Now, if Al Heyman is really sabotaging, is really is really sabotaging these fights, then that's a that's a totally that's a totally different uh, that's a totally different you know that's a totally different thing. So you might have to pay him off a little bit to stop him from sabotaging the fights if that's true, but uh, but fin financially from that standpoint, that make a lot of sense. That make a tremendous amount of sense. So, I think that I think that's that's I think that's what they 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 should really look into doing that. Now, if AB need a tune up, AB need a tune up, and that's and that's and that's fine and dandy. And that's fine and that's fine and that's fine and dandy. That if he need a tune up, so be it. But like I said before, it's a fight that sell Terrence Crawford. He needs some help. He need he need a fight. He need a big fight. Rocha might not be ready. You know, do it. And most people gonna believe in Adrian Browner because he's getting himself together, he cutting down his weight, and all that shit stuff. They both under, understand your business practices. It is selling in Atlanta. It's just you know getting getting it where nobody will block the fight. That's the only issue. Getting it where nobody will block the fight. If you catch my drift. So, um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the way I look at it, bro. That's exactly the way I look at it. That's exactly the way I look at it. 
That's exactly the way I look at it. So, but uh, shit, you know, I, I buy that shit. Or I buy that shit. As long as Al don't block it, I buy it. I buy it. That's 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 a good fight. AB probably going to get dog walked, but hey, it is what it is. Most of Al Heyman fights is somebody getting dog walked. So, I mean, shit, that might be a thought for BLK Prime. That might, that might be a serious thought. That might be a real serious thought. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I'm for it. You know, uh, you know, we feel like Terrence Crawford gonna win, but they need something big and they need something gigantic. They need something that's that's mark that's market friendly. Well, how much more uh, friendly can you get than that? How much more friendly can you get than that? Get, get with that? So, um, so I, you know, honestly, I don't know. Oh shit, that shit fucked up. They got rocks in that shit. Man, only in Detroit, bro. I, I get sent on a dummy mission to McDonald's. I don't even be fucking with McDonald's. But but to, in my in my opinion, you know, that's this that's just what it is. BLK Prime needs something big. They need something gigantic. They need something monumental. There you go. You know, we don't know what the fans buy. I think so. I think so. They buying way more lopsided fights than that. And AB going to talk his shit. It's just that getting, that, you know, getting Terrence Crawford to get in there and making it worth his while and making Adrian Bronner worth his while. That's it. Making it worth their while. Making it worth their while, so, but you know, BLK Prime, they need, they need, uh, they need some big, you know, and obviously they need to align themselves with somebody in boxing. Um, they need to align themselves with somebody in boxing, and if not that, you need big, big fights, because there ain't too many, you know, prominent free agent stragglers around in boxing. Al Heyman ain't like none of his fighters fighting no other platforms. So they need to be able to stand next to somebody, bro. And if they helping Al Heyman go out of business and let him come over there, you gotta get the understanding that y'all he gotta get his fights approved by y'all matchmaker. You know. So, but you know, for them, Broner and, and, and Crawford can sell. They can sell. You know, but they need something big to launch that app off and not just launch it. They need something sustainable. They need something very sustainable, bro. And they just don't have the players in the game for it to be sustainable. That's the issue. You know, and not too many people in, 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 in boxing got sustainable... Um, got sustainable, you know, sustainable fights. Nobody can can, can can continuously do a million viewerships on regular TV or on their platforms. Can nobody consistently do a million viewerships on their platform? So, but... Like I said before, they I think they got the players in boxing for it to be a prominent and a major sport, in my opinion. I do think they got they got the they got the they got the, the weapon, the weaponry. But yeah, I don't think I don't think a lot of that is sustainable. I don't think a lot of that what they doing is is sustainable, just doing fights here and there. You need a, a roster of fighters that's 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 gonna do it. So a lot of the other promoters, you know, they need other promoters to make something happen. But you know, be okay, Prime. You know, I don't know how. I don't know what I. You know, what's how they gonna legitimate? Not, how they gonna be legit over a long period of time? So yeah, they. You know, they need something that's gonna be a sustainable model. They need about a. 
Ljubljana need a lot of good 10 fighters, man. That's going to consistently bring heat throughout the year. Um, but, you know, continue to char charge fight, fight, fight fans, you know, money out, out their pocket. I'm not sure that's the ticket. But, and it is what it is. They know better than I about what they trying to do and what they trying to accomplish in this boxing game. But Crawford and Broner might be something that, uh, that kind of can help kick that off, but they still need to sustain that over a period of time. So, um, you know, something to kind of chew on for a minute, man. But I think it could be, I think it'd be a very huge for, huge for them. But it's getting both guys to take the risk. Obviously, Broner get a crack at, you know, winning another world title, get a good payday. But for Terrence Crawford, I guess it's getting notoriety out there. Broner gonna talk some shit. He gonna talk some shit. You know, he probably gonna hurt the hell out of Broner. Broner got some talent. And Broner know how to survive. You know, so and Broner, Broner a prideful, a prideful guy. So he ain't gonna lay down for Terrence Crawford. He gonna lay down for nobody. But you know, let me know what you girls and guys think about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. Pin pal in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. Anchor Cash app. Memo PayPal. Apple Podcast. Google Podcast. The whole nine. Link tree. The first link in the description. Let me know the comment section. Peace.